In this video, we'll do some practice problems with mole fraction. Mole fraction is a way that we can calculate the concentration of different things in a solution. Here's the equation for mole fraction. If we want to calculate the mole fraction of chemical A, we'll take the number of moles of chemical A and we'll divide that by the total number of moles of everything in the solution. So let's use this and do some examples. A solution contains 1.45 moles of ethylene glycol, C2H6O2, and 5.00 moles of water. What is the mole fraction of each component? So the question asks about each component. There are two components here, ethylene glycol and water. We'll need to calculate the mole fraction of each one. And to do that, we'll use this equation we'll need to know two things, the moles of the specific component as well as the total number of moles in the solution. Now, both of these values are given in moles, so we can figure this stuff out. We can plug these values in moles into the equation. Let's start out by calculating the mole fraction of ethylene glycol. So the symbol for mole fraction is an X like this, and then we put the chemical formula under here in subscript. So for ethylene glycol, that is C2H6O2. And now we'll want the number of moles of ethylene glycol, which is 1.45, 1.45 moles. And we'll divide that by the total number of moles that we have here. So we'll do the number of moles of ethylene glycol plus the number of moles of water. So we have 1.45, that's the ethylene glycol, 1.45 moles, plus 5.00 moles of water. Got to make this line a little bit longer here, add in some parentheses. And when we do this division, this divided by this plus this, we get 0.225. Now what about the units here? What are the units of my final answer? Well, to figure that out, let's take a look at an intermediate step that you might not think about if you just plug this into your calculator. When we add these two numbers in the bottom, in the denominator, we get 1.45 moles over 6.45 moles. So moles and moles add together to make moles. That means that we have this over this, moles over moles cancels out, and we get rid of moles. So our final answer has no units. It's what's called a dimensionless quantity. So mole fraction has no units. Okay, so now we've done one of these, we have to do the other. So now let's calculate the mole fraction of water. Its chemical formula is H2O, and we'll want to do the same thing. Number of moles of water, 5.00. That goes on top that this time because this is what we're interested in. Divided by the total number of moles. So the moles of ethylene glycol, 1.45 moles, plus the number of moles of water, 5.00 moles. We do that math and we get 0.77 five, and as we saw before, these two add together, giving us moles, so the units here all cancel out, and we're left with a mole fraction that doesn't have any units associated with it. And the interesting thing about mole fraction is the mole fractions of all the components of a solution should add up to one, because they're fractions of a whole, and that's exactly what we see here. Mole fraction of ethylene glycol plus a mole fraction of water gives us one. Okay, so that's a pretty straightforward basic mole fraction problem. Let's do one more that requires a little bit of conversion, where the first numbers that we have aren't in moles, so we have to do a couple conversion steps. What are the mole fractions of methanol, CH3OH, and water? in a solution prepared by dissolving 35.80 grams of methanol in 110.0 grams of water. So this solution contains two components, methanol and water. 
But take a look. The amounts of each are given in grams. The equation for mole fraction asks us to use moles in both cases. So that means that we can't just take these numbers and plug them right into the equation. Instead, we first have to start by converting these values in grams to moles. I wrote out a little plan here, just so we can have an overview of what we're going to be doing. We have these values in grams. We're first going to convert them to moles. And then once they're in moles, we can plug them into the equation. So let's start with methanol. In order to go from grams to moles, the first thing we want to know is we want to know molar mass. So here is the molar mass of methanol. We have one carbon, four hydrogens, and one oxygen. So we add these up and we get 32.05 grams per mole. That means that we can write two conversion factors with this that we can use to do the conversion. Okay, now that we have the molar mass, we'll take the grams of methanol that we have, and we will multiply it by this conversion factor. Here are the grams of methanol times this conversion factor so that grams cancel out, and we get 1.5. 1, 2 moles. So that is the number of moles of methanol that we have 1.12 moles. Okay, so we did this for methanol. Now we've got to do the same calculation for water. So we start out figuring out the molar mass of water. We've got two hydrogens and one oxygen, so two times the molar mass of hydrogen plus the molar mass of oxygen gives us 18.02 grams per mole. These are the two conversion factors that we can make from this molar mass. And we're gonna take one of these and multiply it by the amount of water that we have. So we do this, we take 110.0 grams of water multiply it by this one of the conversion factors, so the grams cancel out, and there is the amount of water that we have, 6.10 moles. Okay, so we've done this part of the conversion. Now that we have both of these values in moles, we're ready to plug the values into the equation. Let's start with a mole fraction of methanol. So we have X, CH3, OH, mole fraction of methanol equals the moles of methanol, which will be 1.12 moles, divided by the total moles in the solution, which will be the amount of methanol, 1.12 moles, plus the amount of water, 6.10 moles, do that, and we will get 0 0.155. As we saw before, moles plus moles gives moles, so we have moles over moles, moles cancel out, and we get an answer without units, a dimensionless quantity. And now, for the mole fraction of water, x, with H2O here in the subscript. So number of moles of water, which is 6.10 moles, divided by the total number of moles that we have here. So the number of moles of methanol, 1.12 moles, plus 6.10 moles for water. Do this math. And we get 0 0.845, a dimensionless quantity because moles cancel out. So here are the two mole fractions. And as we saw in the previous example, when we add the two mole fractions up, we get 1. So that's how we calculate mole fraction. We use this equation here. If the amounts of the components are given in moles, you can plug that right into the equation. If the amounts of the components are given in grams like they are here, 
you first have to convert from grams to moles, and then you can plug those mole values into the equation and determine mole fraction. Oh, one more thing. Remember that all the units of moles cancel out during the calculation, so the mole fraction values have no units. They're dimensionless quantities.